I prophesy it shall be well with you. The hand of God will rest upon you. The favor of God will locate you. You will not die before your time. Undeadly death is not your portion. Favor will rest upon you. The Lord will connect you with the right people. The Lord will lift you. The Lord will lift you. The Lord will lift you. Praise the Lord. God has spoken to the fathers in time past. He has chosen to speak his powerful word through his son Jesus Christ. Join prophet Simeon Oladotun as he speaks the word of God from the throne of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And all the time God is good. Beloved, I want to preach about the presence of God. The presence of God is what you don't have any choice with. You need to carry the presence of God. If you want to make it in life and destiny, you need to carry the presence of God. You need the kaimo sondoli amashandoli abasata. If you want to fulfill your destiny, you need the presence of God. In Exodus chapter 33 verse 14, the only thing Moses is crying for was the presence of God. Moses said, Lord, if you are not going to, you are not going with us. If you are not going with us, we will not go. Beloved, you need to become the carrier of presence of God. The presence of God will make everything around you to hear you. The presence of God will make your enemy to bow down and submit to your God. The presence of God Almighty will make you to sit among kings and queens. The presence of God will make you to dine with kings and queens. The presence of God will make you to be among the noble people. The presence of God will make everything written about you to become great and to become fine. Beloved, there is nothing you can trade the presence of God with. You need it. You need it in your life. You need it in your destiny. The presence of God is highly needed. There is nothing you can do. When the presence of God rested upon your life, you will become blessings to multitude. You will become blessings to lives and generations. When you reach a particular place, people will be willing to associate with you. People will be willing to, to bear your names. People will be willing to do things with you. People will be willing for you to come around there. Because when the presence of God comes upon your life, you will become a living potter. What do I mean with living potters? Wherever they reach, there will be signs and wonders. The apostles, of course, the presence of God comes of them, they, they become a living wonders. They become a living wonders. They become a living potters. To the extent when Peter is walking at the street, people will pack the sick people with terrible sickness for the shadows of Peter to touch them for them for healing because of the carrier of God's presence. Apostle Paul carries is part of the carrier of God's blessing. He carries God's bless, presence to the extent that he sent his apron and people are receiving their healing. Beloved, if you want to become anything in this generation, you need to carry the presence of God. If you want your generations to know you, you need to become the carrier of God. Carrier of God's presence. Carrier of the presence of God. Beloved, we have so many people in the Bible that carry the presence of God. And they make a very great exploit. They are very strong because they know they are God and they carry the presence of God. Beloved, if you want to be a carrier of Shekinah glory of God, Number one, you need to be born again and you need to live holy life. There is a man that carries the presence of God. I'm talking about Elijah in Fox King chapter 8 verse 35. Beloved, Elijah shot heaven that it will not rain 
Imagine a lone man to shut heaven. Kyo di di ye ka koti orun. Fun ra pe ojo ni ro ojo siro. That's the presence of God. This same man in 1st King 18:38, the man said let fire fall and the fire of God descended. And the fire of God lick water. The fire of God make you to broke records. And the presence of God in his life bring repentance. But the only mistake Elijah had, Elijah killed those prophets. Beloved, you need the presence of God. If you are a pastor, you need the presence of God. All on earth you will be preaching and your members will be sleeping. Something is missing. <laughs> Something is missing. Why will you be singing as a choir and people will be sleeping in church? Something is missing. When you are a carrier of God's blessing, when you are a carrier of the fire of God, you will see things that will turn around. Beloved Moses carries the presence of God that Lord God Almighty has, cannot even reject his offer. There was a day Moses prayed that Lord, I know you love me. I am carrier of your blessing, carrier of your presence. I want to see you. Ah, Our Lord God said, Moses, you cannot see me. No one sees me and leave. But just because of the presence in your life, I cannot reject your offer. Okay, when I'm going, I have a mountain. I have a place that normally hide people. I will hide you there. When the presence of God comes to your life, you can never, the Lord cannot resist you. The Lord cannot reject your voice. Hallelujah. I had a, a story of one of our father in faith of blessed memory. I'm talking about Babatio or Badari of CAC Wosem. There was a time one of Baba's pastor is dying. He has died. He, the, the pastor is a living corpse. When the man is about to die, Baba Badari just raised up his hands. And Baba Badari speak to the farmer man. He said the Yoruba word, Lord, Oluwa, Oluwa, Bankati, Longwebi. And do you know the Lord God Almighty restored that man totally? That is the presence of God. The presence of God came upon this man, this same Baba Badari, to the extent when he's about to minister. And Baba just said, Oh, go on in for long, look your room. You see witches and wizards, they will be confessing without any force. But now, when our pastors are trying to do deliverance, so the little girl will just be destroying everywhere because we lack the presence of God. Oh God, if for long, look on, and things will be began to happen. There was a year, this same man I'm talking about, went to a country to minister. So no one to interpret for Baba. Do you know when Baba said, Oruko, yes, Baba was speaking the language of that land. He spoke it all through. When it was time for him to share the grace, Baba now asks, I don't even know what I'm saying. That's the presence of God. You need it in your life. Moses received the presence of God. He had to be covering his face because the glory of God has entered his life that no one could look through his face because they don't want to die. The presence of God came upon Joshua. Joshua had to stop the element of God. That you son wait. That is why the month of February is not completed till date. Just because a man, a carrier of God's blessing, a carrier of God's presence, stop the work of God until date. February is not completed. Because you need the, you need beloved, you need the blessing and you need the presence of God. You need the presence of God. We have so many people that are on earth, not even in the Bible. I heard of a story of Baba, 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 this man, this is the mountain. Baba, be it. There was a time Baba, Baba does not have eyes. Baba said, Ah, who will make him dear? Yeah. That we lo- I would love to eat. I don't grass up, I would love to eat it. And the man, people, the, the evangelist around Baba now say, Baba, Ha, this uh, this thing that you are talking about is at the top of the tree. Baba now said, we, Baba didn't have eyes. Baba is a blind man. Baba now said, Evangelist, take me to the tree where there is that 
that, that bush meat. Do you know when they took Baba to that bush uh, to the tree? Baba now placed his hand upon the tree. But do you know the fire of God caught that boy and that bush meat? The bush meat was coming to Baba's hand before the evangelist killed the bush meat. The high presence of God. You need the presence of God as well. The same thing in the life of Apostle Yodele Babalola. Oh my God. So many things. So many things. So many of His presence. Presence of God in their life. Beloved, you need the presence of God too in your life. Your presence. You need the presence of God. The presence of God brings boldness and power. The presence of God make you make your generations to identify you. The presence of God makes you to go places. The presence of God makes people to come around you. The presence of God make you to become things in life. The presence of God will make you to win so many battles. The presence of God will make you to climb so many orders. Beloved, you need the presence of God. You need the presence of the Almighty God. When the presence of God comes upon you, when you are a carrier of God's presence, people will know you. You don't need signposts. You see, some people will be telling them, I am most reverend, apostle, dear faculty, and lecturer. You don't need it. When the presence of God comes upon you, it's God himself that we announce it. When the presence of God of Elijah came upon Elisha, the sons of prophet was the one that gave him identity. They say, here comes the man that, is, that the anointing of God is upon. Beloved, you need the presence of God to come into your life. Beloved, what is the criterion for the presence of God? Number one, you need to be born again. Number two, you need to have a secret place where you'll be meeting with Christ. People that are carrier of God's blessings, that are carriers of God's presence, they have a secret place. Where did you have? What? Where is the place that you have for God in your house? You see some women, they just be decorating their kitchen, pressure pot, and one big spoon, frying pan. You see some fathers of the house, just the designer suits here, without partitioning a place for God. If you want to become a carrier of God, if I enter one of my members' house, I say, oh my God, the place she used to pack shoes. Oh my God, it is com- it's a great place even to build an altar for God. Different sizes. One with IE, normal E, flat E, flat so. You need to create a place for God. And another thing, the altar of your prayers must be burning. And you must be expectant. And I pray, after this sermon, the presence of God will come upon you. You will become a carrier of God's blessing. The Shekinah glory of God will rest upon you. When the presence of God comes, the glory of God will come to your life. When the glory of God comes upon you, you will be far from shame. I pray for you, your life will be far from shame. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We know you have been greatly blessed. For more messages, visit www.gmiheartreach.com. You can also join our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash gmioutreach. For more inquiries, call 80 God bless you as you do so. Amen.